All right, we're done with importing the CAD file to Dialax Evo. Now I did some exercise while uploading the video to YouTube. So I created doors and windows now, and later I'm planning to put light. So you can see here in the CAD file that this house has these windows and doors. So you can see here there are, um, Take two doors in front and on the back, one garage door here, and uh, one, two, three, four windows on the ground floor. I think on the side there's no windows because it's not here. So I put windows also here now. If you can, oops, let's save it. If you can see it in the isometric, I put the windows and the doors similar to this. One, okay, one, two, three, then I have one, two, three. Just take note that I start working on the ground floor for now. Second floor will be done later. So on the other side, I need to put the windows here as well because the windows is here also. So I need to copy. Let's go to the top, the top view of this window. This is the same window because you can see here. This window and that windows are the same. So I'm just going to copy it. I will click on this one and it will appear on this. All the specifications, dimensions are here. So I'm just going to put it here. Click the second tab and draw a line on the end points of the window. Also on the other side. And you can see that Ta-da! Now you have the window. All seal height and all height of the window are similar to the other side, which I did before. I checked the height of the window and the seal height from the floor. And then this is what happened. All right. And then now I, I will put a door from this um, uh, chamber, cham from chamber one to hall one. It should have a door. So I need to put a door and similar to this one, I just need to click this one and make sure that your tab is here. Huh? This is this one is highlighted because I told you before that every tab has different functions. And if you're working with doors and windows, your tab should be here. Okay, so click on this door and then select the second tab and then or you can do select this one but i prefer to have this one okay okay so there you go now we have door if you're going inside the chamber one select it and see what it look like inside you will see that it look like this so now you have the door and the window okay all right I also put this <laughs> table, dining table in the counter here. I selected the woody material. If you want to see and put materials on your design, you can go here. You need to select this one. See, it says materials. Click this one and then select the material or the co color catalog. Let's go to the material catalog. This is the default materials of Dialux Evo. It's similar to Dialux regular. So you can have here, click the arrow, flooring. This is for the out, out, outside textures. And then for the indoor, you can have it also, let's say furniture. And there you have it. I found it, the, 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 the material I selected is from here. Okay, okay. So now here we go. We can start the, oh, maybe you, you want to, to know how to do it. All right, let's do it. Let's say I will um, delete the materials first, so it will become like this. This is the default color, so I delete it. Now I'm going to select the material either by here, indoor, furniture, and then select this one, okay? Or I can just pick material and then pick it like that. Again, 
if I select, it's much better, better. If I select this one, then the, the, I can apply it here now, like this. But say, oops, it's wrong. It's a different color. It's unique. It should be the same. So I, um, either I select it again or pick this one and click the material. And then voila, it becomes like this. And you just have to drag and drop like this. All right. Now I want to color also this counter with the same color with the table and the chair. Oops. God, I need to have color on the table. See, if I want to color also the the the, the legs of the table, I can just do it like this. But I don't want it. I want it like that. And if I want to color the countertop with a different color and the base with the same color with the table and the chair, then I just have to select this color, the maroon, the woody maroon, and then press the control. And then press this one, apply material, and then one by one while pressing the control tab, click, click, click. I'm pressing the control tab now. And let's rotate for a while. Go to the material again. And then apply it. Apply the material. Okay. Okay. So now I have a counter with the same color for the tables and chairs. And then I want to color it with a different color, like the, oops, sorry for that. So I need to select color tab again and go to the favorites. This is the one I used before so I can see it now in the materials. But if I can't see it, I can go back to the material catalog and look for, the, for that one. But since here, the, if you can see, whatever in this material tabs, it means it's already there before or you use it before. So I will select this one. I want it in the countertop and then I will apply it like this. So now I have my countertop. This is very ugly tile. I need to change the... See, you can edit it here. Either you want it smaller or bigger. So I will apply it. 0.5 0.5 0 0.5 Is it changing? I don't think it's hmm. No Alright If I select this and I want to make it 0.5 and 0.5 No Let's do it here now it's change. All right. Now it's a little smaller. So it's okay now. There you go. I have now the living area with a small furniture. And next time, I also have the doors and the windows. Doors and windows, you know where to get here. Yeah. And then the materials where to get is here. All right. And then next time, Next video, we will light it with basic lighting material. Okay. Hey, wait. Let's just put some water closet here. I love to put it here. Let's put it now. Okay. Let's go to the object and go to the catalog. And then object, home furniture, sanitary. You can have your water closet here toilet and then apply let's close it for a while place it individually and place it there hmm. it looks small but uh, actually it's scaled so let's just say the water closet is there okay oh i think i made a mistake because the door in the water closet is like here only right so i should edit the room let's go back on this tab and edit the room if i want to put a point here to have a boundary here i will put i will right click add point and then place it here another one here add point and then place it here 
I will edit later here and also here because and let's zoom and then also on the other side add point here and then here and then here and then here all right so i think our water closet is now okay um, and if i want to put a door no it should be in the one in one room okay let's just say that it is really a one room because i need a calculation for this water closet only so i need to delete it delete it again because i need to close the water closet into one room and i need to put a door on that side right and because of that i need to create a room here where i can place another door okay so let's go back here and draw a new indoor the indoor will be from here to here uh, why well, it's not snapping on that side okay all right so we will ha we'll have now two 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 uh, another room here and then i need to put another opening or um, door also here on this toilet i need to put a door right okay and then of course i need to adjust the the door width of this or maybe i can just move it for a little while because it is clashing the, the window here. Okay. I think one more. Let's just make it 0.75 to make it safe. All right. Now I have two doors. Yeah, here. One door for the toilet, one door for the living area, and one door for the garage. Okay, so much for now. We will like it later. Bye.